Alright guys, so I've been getting questions about the Galaxy A54. Matt, would you buy this phone, this mid-range phone? And objectively, it's a decent phone. We've done some comparisons um, and I think Samsung has fixed like one main issue I had, but there's like small little things that I don't like. But objectively, the phone, it, it is a pretty decent phone. I think it's a little bit expensive, uh, you know, for this $400 price point. And you guys already know where I'm going with this. I personally wouldn't buy the phone because there's just much better older flagship options. And it pretty much will beat this phone in pretty much all categories for the most part. Um, so Samsung is not officially selling this phone in the United States. And, but they're selling the A35, but they're not selling the A55. You can get it uh, on Amazon and eBay uh, like I did, but it's, they're not officially selling it. It won't be on carriers this year and stuff like that. The reason is because Samsung knows that this phone doesn't make any sense in the United States because you can get a Galaxy you can get a Galaxy S23 or an S23 FE, or if you wanted something bigger, I think this is his biggest competition, the S22 Plus. And uh, this phone is so good. Hold on, let me unlock it this phone is so good it's ridiculous guys uh, if you can get this you can get this in the used refurbished marketplace for like 340 bucks and it is very very good and it's going to be even better next month because it's going to be getting the galaxy ai features as well too so there's a lot going on here but let's go ahead and jump into some of my reasons uh why now, i wanted to do this with the older a series phone this is the a52s Samsung has made the screen much duller. This is something that I didn't see anyone talking about in these reviews and comparisons. I don't know if people aren't putting the screen side by side, but it's very clear. This is not the same vibrant, colorful display uh, that we're used to. That's why when I first picked it up, I was like, yo, why is the screen uh, just so dull? So it looks like they cheaped out on the display or they changed something or did something, but it is nowhere near the same type of vibrant display. Uh, that we've known to come and love on these these mid-range phones. Now, the display quality is still good. It's pretty much untouched uh, for the most part. Still 1080p, you know, still 120 hertz, whatever. Uh, but I've noticed the colors are just, they're just dull, and it just does not look good. And again, it's something that a lot of people are ignoring, but I clearly saw it. I didn't even really need a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, but yeah, that's one thing I noticed with the display. And again, this is this is minor stuff. It's not it's not anything that's too crazy. But if you're like a display person like me, that was like a big thing that I just immediately did not like. All right. So the next reason that it's really hard for me to recommend this phone is because a lot of people when they come to me, they actually come to me for gaming. So they say, is this going to be good for gaming? Is this the best I can get for you know this price point? And the answer is absolutely not. Uh, you're much better off going with an older flagship. Even though the Xenos processor this year is pretty decent, guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I didn't have the, the stuttering issues that I had with the A54. It wasn't all glitching up and stuff like that. Uh, but the gaming is, it's okay on here. Uh, I don't really have too much of an issue. You can see you have smooth, and but you only have HDR Ultra. But when you buy an old flagship, it's just a completely different level, right? So on the S22 Plus here, this phone, you have Smooth Extreme Plus, so you have 90 frames, and then if you want, you know, the better graphics, you have HDR Extreme. Uh, but this phone, if you're a competitive gamer, uh, you just have the better frame rates, and it'll just be an overall better experience. And this pretty much translates uh, throughout, you know, pretty much anything. You get less hiccups when it comes to the OS, when you're just scrolling and swiping, or you have a lot of stuff open. Or, you know, if you look at the Geekbench scores and the Antutu scores, you just get better performance overall. And then, not only that, but this is what a lot of people don't think about, better performance down the line. Typically, these mid-range phones will slow down a year or two from now, but these flagship phones, they're made so that they last a long time. So a lot of people forget about that. So definitely, performance-wise, it's just a no-brainer if you're into gaming or if slow phones and like stuff like that is a problem for you I would definitely go with an old flagship because these phones just last longer now another good trade-off to getting an old flagship uh, is typically going to be the software so again using Samsung as an example here you got Samsung desktop support on here you got more premium features but this isn't isn't all so Samsung's going to be introducing Galaxy AI to the S22 series and that's just going to be a, you know, a totally 
just a mind-blowing thing for these older flagships that are going to breathe a lot of life. It's going to have a lot of new features. The reason why that's important is because the AI features are pretty much the future uh, mobile software for the most part from what we're seeing um, you'll see it it'll blow up really big once you know Apple starts doing it but yeah it's gonna be really really big I think in the next five years and it's really really cool that the s22 plus is gonna get you know the galaxy AI feature so that's also one thing uh, to note. you know of course the a55 won't get it because you know it's a mid-range phone Samsung has to limit it so that's why I say you know I like to inform people about this you know type of stuff now I also do want to touch on some other alternatives. I would get the iPhone 13 if you're not too bent on, you know, uh, you know Android and you you don't care about having an iPhone. This is an excellent phone. It has a much faster processor. It takes better pictures, way better video as well too. And um, yeah, I would definitely get this phone in a heartbeat. Um, and you know, you get all the iOS stuff, FaceTime, and all that good stuff. Um, also, there are also some other alternatives to the pictures. So the pictures on the A55, they aren't bad at all. Um, I thought the pictures were pretty decent uh, for the most part. Uh, but again, these older flagships will definitely do a much better job in low light. And also video is not as limited. This only does like 4K 30 frames on the front and back. These older flagships will get you higher res video for the most part some of them like the S22 plus can go up to 8k and then like for phones like if you really really like bent on pictures I would definitely consider uh, getting a pixel phone guys this is gonna take the absolute best still so if you're somebody you post on social media or whatever like that or you just like to take a lot of pictures you want the best quality pictures man I would seriously considering picking up a Pixel 7 Pro. It's a really good phone, processor pretty decent, hardware really nice, you get stock Android, all that good stuff. But I would seriously pick this up just for the pictures. Um, yeah, it's just you can't really go wrong with the image quality on here. It's really, really good. So if you care about pictures, this is another good alternative to the A55. And then you have older flagships like the S21 Ultra. Another great phone that has S Pen support. It's bigger as well too. You get the full flagship, you know, kind of experience with being able to take really good zoom shots as well too. You got the hundred times zoom. So if you outdoors, like a sporting event or something like that, you do that. You know, just stuff where you would be zooming a lot. This is an excellent phone. Like I said, much better uh, cameras in my opinion. And um, yeah, so I actually really like this phone. Now the good thing about uh, the A55 is that it will have pretty decently long software support uh, but the reason why I wouldn't worry about that too much is because these older flagships they got Samsung extended the um, lifespan of the phones when it comes to software so you get much better longer software on these older flagships especially the Samsung one and one of my favorite alternatives is the S21 FE uh, this phone I believe will get up to Android 16 as well too and you can find this for 200 bucks and it's extremely good has a better processor um, the screens better um, yeah I just really like this phone I think it's just better just in general the pictures are still really good on here as well too so there's a lot of alternatives to the a55 um, like I said I did a couple comparisons you guys can check that out but what do you guys think you would really have to be like really bent on the SD card support so if the SD card support is extremely important to you, then I would say, like, like go ahead and get it. Um, but if it's not important to you, I mean, these older flagships and older phones, they just do a so much better job when it comes to processing. Uh, also, the cameras. Um, you just have way more functionality. Gaming performance is going to be better uh, on here. Battery life is still pretty good on these older flagships. Uh, the A55 has pretty good battery life, but... These older flagships do a really good job, like the S22 Plus, phenomenal battery life on here. That's why I said this phone, the S22 Plus, is really its biggest competition. Um, it's just a much better phone, uh, in my opinion. So, what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.